Hello friends, it's Lekhi here. Welcome to lecture number 13 of Laplace transformation. In the last video, lecture number 12, we have discussed about how to find inverse Laplace transformation of f of s multiplied by s. Okay, so link will be given in the description box, link of the last video. So if you want to watch, you can go through there. And uh, in this video, in this lecture, we're going to discuss how to find the inverse Laplace transformation of f of s multiplied by 1 by s or you can say inverse Laplace transformation of f of s divided by s right so before we start please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and uh, if you like my videos hit the thumbs up button and share with your friends if you think these videos are helpful and uh, please support me and help me to grow my channel and inspire me to create new videos new contents for you so thank you for watching let's uh, start let me take you to my uh, you know, uh, screen of my device. How to find the Laplace transformation when f of s is divided divided by s or multiplied by one by s? You can say, okay, uh, f of s divided by s or multiplied by one by s. How to find the Laplace uh, transformation of this? So in this video, we're gonna discuss this, and uh, here we're gonna solve these three problems. Okay, so now here you see. Let me tell you. Suppose inverse Laplace transformation of f of s is f of t right f of t let us consider let us consider that way then uh, inverse Laplace transformation of f of s divided by s or you can say inverse Laplace transformation of f of s multiplied by 1 by s is given by integration 0 to t inverse Laplace transformation of f of s dt that means uh, here you can see inverse Laplace transformation of f of s means nothing but f of t so you can write 0 to t f of t dt right so that's how we can find the inverse Laplace uh, inverse Laplace transformation of f of s divided by s Right, so now let us find the inver inverse Laplace transformation of this. So here you see this uh, 1 by 2s into s minus 3. It can be written in this way. Half into 1 by s minus 3 whole divided by s. Right. So here you can take this part as f of s. Right. And this is s. So, uh, our f of s divided by s will be here, f of s divided by s, in this case, we get 1 by s minus 3 divided by s, and so f of s, f of s is 1 by s minus 3, and inverse Laplace transformation of f of s that means inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s minus 3 so we know inverse Laplace, uh, inverse Laplace transformation of 1 by s minus a that will be equal to e to the power a t right e to the power a t so here instead of a we have 3 so that's why right, it's gonna be uh, inverse Laplace transformation of f of s in this case it will be e to the power 3t so this is our f of t so by definition so let me clean this part so here you see by definition that inverse Laplace transformation of f of s divided by s that is integration 0 to t f of t dt right so here 1 by s in this case f of s divided by s is this right uh, this one, right and we have a half with this so that's why we're gonna write here half f of s divided by s and f of s divided by s into half that is nothing but this one by 2s into s minus 3 so Laplace transformation of 1 by 
just let me write this 1 by 2s into s minus 3 and that is equal to integration 0 to t here f of t we have got e to the power 3t so let me write the integration here integration 0 to t e to the power 3t dt right so if you integrate e to the power 3t then you will get e to the power 3t divided by 3 so we are integrating from 0 to t uh, one more thing here uh, it, as we have half here so there should be a half outside it so let me write here half okay now let's go to the new slide here also half right now you see if you put t here then you should get sorry you should get e to the power 3t by 3 and if you put 0 here right if you put 0 then you should get e to the power 0 that's going to be 1 by 3 right and here uh, you can keep the answer in this way or you can write 1 by 6 e to the power 3t minus 1 so that is your answer so hope you have understood this now let us solve this so here you see in this case 1 by s into s my s square minus 16 that can be written as 1 by s square minus 4 square 16 can be written as 4 square right divided by s so this is in this form f of s divided by s right and here our f of s is nothing but 1 by s square minus 4 square so inverse laplace transformation of f of s that means the inverse laplace transformation of this that's gonna be uh, 1 by 4 sine hyperbolic 4t right so sine hyperbolic let me write it properly okay sine 1 by 4 sine hyperbolic 4t right this is our f of t so we know this uh, that laplace inverse laplace transformation of 1 by a s square minus a square that is nothing but uh, 1 by a sine hyperbolic a t so we have used that one right so hope you know all those formulas so now if you integrate this uh, uh, so by definition we know that inverse laplace transformation of f of s divided by s is given by inverse laplace transformation uh, sorry integration from 0 to t f of t so here this is our f of t 1 by 4 sine hyperbolic 40 dt right so integration 0 to t so let me write the 1 by 4 outside the integration and uh, sine hyperbolic 40 dt and sine hyperbolic 40 and dt that's going to be cos hyperbolic 40 by 4 right so that that will be so here you see uh, this is nothing but inverse laplace transformation of this right so you can write inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s into sorry 1 by s into s square minus 16 that's going to be equal to 1 by 4 uh, if you integrate this then you should get cos hyperbolic 4 t by 4 as we are integrating from 0 to t so we should write 0 to t here so let me continue uh, from this step let me take another slide okay so here you see if you put t here then what you will get 1 by 4 cos hyperbolic 4 t by 4 minus if you put 0 then what you will get you will get we know cos 0 is 1 so 1 by 4 we're gonna get 1 by 4 and that's gonna give you 1 by 16 cos hyperbolic 4t minus 1 so that's your answer so hope you have understood this let me show you another problem okay
now let me show you the last one this one so here s square plus 2 by s into s square plus 4 so it can be simplified as s square plus 4 minus 2 by s s into s square plus 4 then if you simplify this what are you gonna get you're gonna get 1 by s right 1 by s minus 2 by s into s square plus 4 that's what you're gonna get right so here you see and uh, 1 by s and this part and this second part of this expression it can be written as 2 into 1 by s square plus 4 or s square plus 2 square whole divided by s so i have written this one in this form f of s by s so hope you understood this so here you see so therefore inverse laplace transformation of this given function s square plus 2 by s into s square plus 4 that's gonna be your one uh, inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s minus 2 into inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus 2 square divided by s right that's what we're gonna get so inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s is nothing but 1 we know that then 2 into inverse laplace transformation of uh, this is our f of s by s and by definition inverse laplace transformation of let me write here so by definition we know that inverse laplace transformation of f of s by f of s is 0 to f of t dt and f of t is nothing but f of t is nothing but inverse laplace transformation of f of s right inverse laplace transformation of f of s so that's what we can apply here right so here we're gonna write this is integration 0 to t inverse laplace transformation of f of s here our f of s is 1 by s square plus 2 square so hope you have understood this dt so now let me clean these things now you see let me write from here so 1 minus 2 0 to d and inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus a square we know that the uh, inverse laplace transformation of 1 by s square plus a square that is nothing but uh, 1 by a sine a t right sine a t in this case our a is 2 so that's uh, what we're gonna get so we're gonna get 1 by 2 sine 2 t where we have dt right so hope you have understood this so now you see these two these two cancels and let me continue uh, in the next slide now you see if you integrate this so here two to cancel so if you integrate this then what you're gonna get one minus integration of sine 2t that's gonna be minus cos 2t by 2 0 to t right so if you put the limits then what you're gonna get uh, if you put 2t here so what are you gonna get minus cos 2t by 2 and if you put 0 if you put 0 then what are you gonna uh, get uh, here you see minus minus plus cos 0 is 1 so 1 by 2 that's what we're gonna get so 1 minus remove the bracket that's gonna be plus cos 2t by 2 minus half and let me write from here uh, this position 1 minus half that's gonna be plus half right so half plus cos 2t by 2 so taking LCM that's what we're gonna get 1 plus cos 2t by 2 and 1 plus cos 2t by 2 that is nothing but cos t sorry cos square t that is cos square t so that is your answer so hope you have understood 
and if you have understood and if you think uh, my video is helpful then please share with your friends and inspire me to create new contents for you and, uh, if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe the channel and uh, if you like my video let me know in the comment box okay that's your and uh, okay if you want me to create some other contents uh, on other subjects you can uh, suggest me so thank you for watching uh, see you in the next video